All right, good morning, y'all. I think I'm finally live, so I'm gonna get ready and start. I think you guys will have problems seeing my screen, huh? Because it's not mirrored, so you will you will see everything backwards. Hmm. I'll try to figure that out as we go. Perfect. All right. So today we're going to be talking about locomotion. Now, locomotion is super cool. Um, basically, locomotion is this. Let's read it together. Ready? Locomotion is the ability to move from one place to another. Now, that doesn't sound too complicated, Coach. Why does it have such a big word? Well, that's what we call it. Okay, the ability. The definition of the ability to move from one place to the other is typically called locomotion. Um, so today we're going to be learning a lot of different movements. Um, if you were here last week, um, we started, we played a game at the end of the last lesson that we had live. Um, and we're going to try to use some locomotor movements, some different locomotor movements to kind of play our game. Now, it might look a little different than last week's game. It might not be as fun it might not be as um but it will be more challenging than it was last week for sure now last week we had um just running so running was a locomotion um i didn't know if you know that it's right here running is a version it's a form of locomotion but today we're going to be focusing not just on running but on some of the ones on the board as well okay so we're going to start by just doing the walk okay we're just gonna does anybody know how to walk who knows how to, if you know how to walk let me hear you say it let me hear you say I'm here. If you know how to walk, just say here. Yeah, raise your hand, wave it in the air. Yeah, everybody knows how to walk, okay? Since you turned like one or one and a half, you probably knew how to walk pretty well. Um, we've been walking for a while. So we're gonna try to start our activity today with just walking, okay? Just walking. Ready? So if you don't have your basket ready yet, you may go get your basket. I have two baskets here today because I need to hold my sign. So I'm gonna move this all the way to the back. And now we have the basket again, same basket with some socks. Now I have six pairs of socks today. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Good. So I have six pairs of socks today. Okay. I'm going to use all six of these socks to play our game. First thing we're going to do, think of this as your warm up for the day. Okay, your warm up for the day. We're going to walk from where the basket is at. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you 30 seconds, just about 30 seconds, to go and find yourself a basket and just roll up some socks or roll up a, a, a shorts or a t-shirt. I'm going to give you about 30 seconds just to get um, your equipment ready. So a basket, a couple socks, or whatever you want to put in there. You can put some oranges, you can put some papers in there. Um, it doesn't really matter what it is, as long as you can go retrieve each item individually. Okay, so you have 30 seconds. Go. Got about 15 seconds. Go fast, go fast, go fast. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, perfect. So we're, again, we're gonna just start with walking. Instead of starting on one side and going back to the opposite side, we're gonna start on the same side as the basket today. You're gonna walk as fast as you can. Turn around when you get to a certain point. And go back. So for me, I have about six steps of space in front of me. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So to get to the camera, I have about six steps. So I'm gonna walk six steps forward, six steps back, get my my, my sock, walk six steps, two, three, four, five, drop it, go forward again, get a sock, walk with it, just walk. Now walking and running and even jogging looks completely different. Let's talk about it for a second, okay? Now when you are walking, okay, let's think about it. When you are walking, 
All right, let's pose a question like this. If you're walking and if you're running, which one would you get to your destination faster? Which one would get you to your destination faster? Would you walk faster or would you run faster? Yeah, you'd run faster, right? So running and walking are, they look similar because they're from this, they're derived from the same motion, right? Your legs are moving one step up to the other um, and it's one foot down and the other foot down. However, with walking, you're, walk, you're moving at a slower pace, okay? Typically what happens, let me walk sideways, show you. When you walk, one leg, your legs start together, one leg goes forward, you step down, and your back leg kind of rolls from your heel, from the heel all the way to the toe, okay? So what happens is you step, your back leg kind of rolls up, then your front leg does the same thing, because becomes now, your, now it becomes your back leg, okay? When you step, you step typically from heel all the way to your toe and kind of roll into that, okay? And one of the most intricate parts of walking, which you don't necessarily think about so much, is the fact that your arms kind of move in coordination with your legs. Now, let's talk about that word coordination, okay? Now, coordination just basically means they work together, okay? So they work together. Your right arm typically swings forward when your left leg goes forward. Watch it. Ready? Right arm and left leg. Left arm, right leg. You don't even have to think about it now because you know how it helps you to what's called counterbalance. Okay, so your body, when it sways one way, your body has to do something on the opposite side so it kind of keeps it on a level plane. Okay, so for us, walking is the most simple, most basic um, locomotor movement that we can possibly do. So we're going to move it up now to a little bit of a faster movement in the same build up. Okay, we're going to build up from slow all the way to fast. So we're going to have three movements, slow, medium, and fast. What's, what do you think is between a walk and a run? Does anyone know the name between a walk and a run? So walk is slow, and we decided that run is super fast, right? So what's in the middle section? It starts with a, a J. Is it on my board? It is not on my board. It's not, it's not on my board, okay? The word is jog, okay? So jog is a faster, it's faster than walking, but it is slower than running. So faster than walking, but slower than running, okay? Let's try it. So in jogging, you're moving in the same way you would if you were running, but you're going at a slower pace, okay? So you're not trying to go as fast as you can. Just getting your legs moving, getting your legs moving. So walking was like this. Walking was one, two, three, four, just taking your time. Jogging is a little bit faster, so you're moving your legs a little bit faster. Okay. It's not that your body is physically moving faster, because right now we're in such a small space. It's not that I'm going super fast from side to side, or I'm trying to go far on each side. I'm just trying to get my legs moving a little bit faster. Okay. So I'm not saying run and hit things in your house. Take your time, calm down. Um, what I'm saying is I want to get your legs, not your body, but your leg moving a lot faster. Okay. So walking, move your legs slowly. Okay. Jogging, you're gonna move your legs a little bit faster, okay? And then when we get to running, we're gonna to try to move our legs even faster than that, okay? So let's do some jogging, jogging. We're gonna do two minutes of jogging from here to there. Let's get the um, socks out of the bin, put them in front of you, ready? Let's go, jog, jog, I'm gonna pick this one up. Jog, put it in there, get a different one. Jog, drop this one. Jog back over here, pick up this one. Jog, drop that one. Jog, get up. Jog with me, jog with me, stay with me. Jog with me, stay with me. Pick up this one. All right, now let's return them, okay? I'm gonna go down here first. Jog, stop. Jog, stop. Pick up a sock. Put it in the bin. Take your time, take your time. Pick up this one, because it's out of the way. Bring it down here, drop it in there. Yeah, just jog, just jog, just jog. Take your time. This should not make you, oh, I missed. This should not make you breathe so heavy. It's a jog. Take your time. Take your time. If you notice my arms, right? Let's talk about it for a second. If you notice my arms when I'm jogging, they're kind of up, pinned at my side, 
Okay, not all the way chicken wing, right? But they're kind of pinned at my side and I'm not moving them all the way back in front like I would if I was running, but they're going nice and bouncing in front of me, okay? They're helping me keep my rhythm, my pace, or my cadence, okay? Cadence is another word that we use to talk about um, our speed of movement or the rhythmic, the rhythmic pattern of our movement, okay? So, that's another word you can add to your vocabulary, cadence, okay? Cadence, C-A-D-E-N-C-E, -E, okay? Cadence, okay? Let's keep jogging. Finish up, we got two more sucks. One, look at my arms, nice and bouncing. Pick up this one, do like a little bit. Drop it in the bin, I'm gonna jog to you guys. Perfect. All right, so that was jogging, okay? So we did walk, we did jog. That's two locomotor movements that you already knew prior to even coming into this class, into this live session, okay? Now, we're gonna move on from walking and jogging into running. Now, hear me out. I want you to be careful, okay? There is no reason to try to go as fast as you possibly can inside your household. Some of you might not even have as much space as I do. If you don't have any space at all, right, to move around, stay in your spot and just jog or run on the spot, okay? Just stay in your spot. Let me show you. Instead of going all the way from here to, the, to over here, I want you to just find a space, even if you have the basket, right? Have the basket right beside you, and just run, and then pick it up, run, and drop it. You don't have to go anywhere, okay? If this is all the space you have, that's fine. Use what you got. All right, so for running, okay, I want to teach you a couple things. I'm going to start by going on my knees. I'm going to teach you how they taught me how to run, okay? Now, when I was younger and I was doing track and field, my coach used to tell me that I, I should keep my hands nice and loose, not all the way stiffed out, uh, but nice and loose, keep my fingers relaxed. And then when I'm running, I'm trying to keep a 90 degree, so when I say 90 degree, I mean like an L shape in my arms, okay? So keep that L shape in my arms. So right now, my L shape hasn't really changed much, okay? There's still an L, if you look closely at it, there's still an L. When I bring it forward, I'm coming with my elbow right beside my hip. So I'm not going all the way up here, or all the way, like all the way back there. I'm going up to my hip, right here, and then back. So just practice this on your, by yourself right now. Sit just like I'm sitting, arms out to your side, right? And then swing them, one, one goes forward, one goes back. One goes forward, one goes back. Try to keep your elbows as close to your body as possible. Keep your elbows as close to your body as possible. Now, if we're looking at it from the front side, right? When we were jogging, my hands were just going nice and easy, just like this. It's kind of an exaggeration, exaggerated version, so an overextension of the jogging motion. Jogging, your hands are going up and down at the front. I don't know if, I don't know if you noticed that, but your arms are just bouncing up and down as you're going back and forth, okay? Now when you're running, because you wanna get more power in it, you're gonna swing your arms even harder and farther, okay? So that's why you go back and back. So, okay, from the side again, try to do this, okay? Keep your arms nice and locked, okay? Keep that L shape locked in your arms, okay? Keep it locked, nice and locked in your arms. Give me one second. Perfect. All right, there was a train passing. Gotta deal with that noise. <laughs> All right, so here is what we're gonna do next, okay? We're gonna try to run. If you don't have enough, a lot of space, just run on your spot and then just touch the ground if you don't have any equipment out. If you don't have any socks, any basket, any of that, if you just have paper, put it right in front of your legs. And I want you to just run on the spot and then pick it up, run on the spot and drop it, okay? For me, because I have a little bit of space here in front of me, I'm gonna be going back and forth, okay? So if you have the space, work with me. If you don't have the space to stay in your spot, and just fall, every time I get to the basket, you just drop your item or pick up an item, okay? From the ground right in front of you. All right, so running. Again, we're not trying to go as fast as we can from one side to the next. We're gonna try to get our body moving a lot faster and try to keep the form, right, proper. Ready? So I'm gonna run to you guys, run back, pick up an item, and back. We're gonna do it for two minutes. In three, two, one, begin. Go, 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 go. Try to get your knees up, get your knees up. Get your knees up, get your knees up. Drop it. Give me this. Up, 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 up. Drop. Up, 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 up. Ah, up, up. Drop it. Up, 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 up. Woo! Up, 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 up. Drop. Up, 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 up. 
Good job. Get your knees up. Swing those arms. Swing those arms. Swing your arms. 90 degrees. Time to put them back. Ready? Go forward first. Go back. Get our item. Forward. Drop in there. Pick up one. Forward. Keep your knees going up. Yeah, keep pumping your arms. Keep pumping your arms. If you feel like you're getting tired, keep pumping your arms. Last one, last one. Back. Whew. Perfect. All right, if you have some water, that would be a great time to go and get yourself a drink, okay? Have about 30 seconds, no, you have about a minute to get some water and come right back. Go. seconds make sure you're taking some deep breaths as you're focusing on getting some water and recovering okay take some deep breath as you focus on getting nice nice and recovered okay Still got about 10 seconds. Ready? Perfect. All right. Let's transition into another one, okay? Let's transition into another one, right? So we're gonna move from walk. By the way, let's do a little trivia. Let's do a trivia. See if you can get all these right. Which is, so remember, remember our words, okay? Remember, remember your words. Fast, faster, fastest, or slow, slower, slowest, or fast, medium, slow. Um, let's try to figure it out. Which is the fastest of the three? How, I mean, walk, run, or jog. Which is the fastest? Walk, run, or jog? Three, two, one. Walk. <laughs> no, that's not right. All right. Yes, run is the answer. Run is the fastest of the three locomotor movements that we've done so far. Which is the, which is the slowest that we've done so far? Run, walk, or jog? Run, walk or jog and three two one what's your answer did you say did you say walk great if you said walk you got it right all right perfect now we're going to move from those three into one more for the rest of the day and after that we'll move on to tomorrow's lesson where we will have the second part of it so if you want to continue this series um, of locomotive movements all week this week i'll be posting videos talking about locomotor movements um so yeah Today we're going to look at four of them, tomorrow we'll look at two or three additional ones, and then Wednesday we'll look at a couple more. Um, again, locomotive movements is just the ability for your body to move from, or how your body moves from one place to the other, okay? So it's how your body moves from one place to the other, okay? So make sure you're remembering that locomotor movement or locomotion is the ability to move from one place the other or the how we move from one place to the other okay so we learned three already walk run and jog those three kind of we're familiar with already let's move on to one that you're probably not so familiar with okay this one is called the gallop okay gallop so for galloping okay well, remember when we were walking we started with two feet side by side and we'll walk like this for galloping we're going to start in a little bit different way okay you're gonna start by placing one foot in front and keeping one foot at the back, okay? Now what you'll be doing is you'll be using this back leg to kind of move 
your for move your body forward. Okay. So, by the way, which which animal gallops? Can you think of a couple animals that gallop? There's a couple. They all have the same kind of body structure. Yeah, horse, zebras, giraffes. Yeah, cool. All right. So galloping. One leg in front, one leg behind. You're gonna launch from your back leg, okay? So you're gonna let your back leg kind of lead the motion. What's gonna happen is your back leg is gonna get up a little bit and it's gonna stop right beside the other leg. And then your, up, your front leg is gonna go forward. So it's gonna look a little bit like this, okay? Again, one leg forward, one leg back. Your back leg moves first, stops right where your ankle of the front leg is at, and then your front leg kind of moves forward. Think of it like a pendulum, like, right? So one thing hits the other, and the other kind of moves, right? Think of it in terms of um, like marbles hitting each other. One, one marble is going, hits the other one, the other one starts moving, right? That's kind of the idea behind our leg when we're doing gallop, okay? One leg forward, one leg back, kind of pop up and pop forward. So pop up with the back leg, front back leg comes to the front, front leg kind of moves forward, okay? Let me try to do it a little bit faster so you can get a better idea of what it looks like. Two, one, two. Let's go the other way, okay? I'm gonna go one leg front, one leg back. One, two, one, two, one, and two. So as soon as the back leg comes forward, the front leg gets up, okay? Like this, again. One, two, one, two, one, two. Everybody got it? You think you got it? You think you got it? Think you got it? Perfect. I think, I think some of y'all think y'all got it. Let's try a little faster. Now I can always use different legs forward. So before I was using my left leg forward, so now I'm gonna put my right leg out in front. And I can do the same thing, okay? Now for your arms. Remember when you were jogging, you had your arms kind of nice and tight into your chest? Kind of the same thing for when you're galloping. One leg forward, one leg back. Kind of keep them nice and bouncing. You can even do it backwards. Yeah. All right, cool. So let's try galloping while getting our items from the basket. Let's try galloping. I'm gonna gallop to you, gallop back, pick up my first item. Ready? One leg forward, one leg back, arms nice and tight, your elbows nice and tight to your body, and your forearms, your fists, kind of right in front of your body. Ready? Three, two, one, begin. Gallop, 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 turn, gallop, gallop, gallop. Try to gallop with one leg down and gallop with the other leg back. So right now I'm galloping with my right leg down and my left leg coming back this way. Ready, let's go. Right leg, right leg, right leg, right leg, back, right, left leg, left leg, left leg, left leg. And then put it down. Let's do it again. Keep going. Right, right, right. Drop. Left, 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 left. Pick up. Right, 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 right. Drop. Left, left. Left, left, right, 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 drop, left, left, right, left. Try not to make your back leg pass the front leg. Try not to make it pass. Try to stop it as soon as it gets to the side of your leg. Okay, got about two more. Two, three, keep going back. Nice, nice, nice. And forward again. I'm gonna just come over there and sit with you guys. Perfect. So again, that is called the gallop. So we learned four locomotor movements. By the way, if you can give me a bang up definition of locomotion right now, I want you to ha have your parents kind of write it down for you so you can post it under the post that I made on Class Dojo. I want you to give me your feedback. Give me your best definition of locomotion under the post that we have on Class Dojo. Please, because Instagram doesn't have, I mean, YouTube does not have the comments turned on because this is made for children. So, and that's to help you guys. So, go on Class Dojo and post your responses to the question What is your definition of locomotion? Okay, what is your definition of locomotion? And then give me one example of locomotion. We have done four today. You can just write any one of them. Any one of them you, you, you remember, you can write it down under the link in Class Dojo. So 
that was our lesson for today on locomotion um, and locomotor movements. Again, I'm going to give you my definition of it, but I want you to provide your own words of what you think locomotion is in class dojo. So locomotion for me and for other people have been the ability or the bodies, how the body moves from one place to the next. So how your body moves from one place to the next. Today we learned four different locomotor movements. The first one was walk, the second one was jog, the third one was run, and this last one is called gallop, okay? So if you can please go on Class Dojo and write your definition and an example, that would be fantastic. So I know that you are here and you are listening all the way through to the end of the video. This week I will have a surprise. Um, I will be going live, hopefully, Fingers crossed, toes crossed, legs crossed. I'll be going live for five days this week. So every day this week, I'll try to go live. Um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We will try to do a live, at least 15 minutes of a live workout or something. So make sure you stay in tune. Um, come back, even if you don't have PE for that day, you can always come and join us um, and just log it in your activity log. Don't forget, your new logs are posted on the corneliuspe.weebly.com website. So make sure you go and check that out. Download the document. It's in a Word format now, so you can always edit it if you download it on a computer or a phone if you have the Outlook or the Word app, uh, which is free on your phones. So make sure that you get those turned into me by Saturday so we can have all of the logs documented. Um, have a great day. Um, I enjoyed today's little demonstration of locomotor movements. Tune in tomorrow for another video. That's it for now. Fist bump. High five. I'll see you next time. Bye.